Hello all you Conan Exile fans out there, it's Granny Gamester back with another beginner's guide to Conan Exiles. Now I'm playing on the PlayStation 4 single player. And today we're going to talk about religious altars and how they work. Now I chose the set religion for this guide because that is my favorite. So uh, yeah, there are four different ways that you can get religion. Now the first way is by choosing it when you set up your character. You will have an option to choose uh, one of the religions. So when you do that, you automatically will have your first altar in your inventory, which is your crafting inventory here. You will find it and it will, won't cost you anything. Uh, the second way is by spending 50 feet points. So if you go into your feats and you scroll over on the top all the way to uh, your religions, you will see that this nest of Zeth is going to cost me 50 feet points because uh, I, I didn't choose that religion to begin with. But I can still get this religion if I want. You can actually get all of these religions throughout the game by using one of these four ways. So the uh, next way to do it is by talking to the priest in that religion that will teach you that religion. And they're hidden all throughout the Conan lands. And the set religion. I'll show you where he is on the map. To learn the set religion, he is right here. Mechamosis Spire. Now I do believe the Mitra, you can find her there at Muriel's Hope or again down here. Um, I'm not for certain. I don't know where all of these religions are, but I do believe that uh, are those two. Now the fourth way is by killing a named priest uh, of that religion. So the Eye of Set, if I kill a named priest, I will get the Eye of Set, and he has to be, of course, a set priest, and he will drop an item, and when I use that item, that will allow me to learn that religion. So if you see any uh, named priests out there uh, of that religion, uh, go by all means, uh, kill them and take their drop and learn that religion because that is one of the ways. So uh, at level one, you have this first altar that you can make, and this is the Sculpture of Set, and I hope I said that right. So let's open that up, and let's take a look at the items that we can make. We can make the set brazier. We can make the set type ritual knife. We can make um, an upgrade to this altar, but we do have to be a level 20 in order for this to show up. And then we have the snake arrow, which is one of the reasons why I choose this religion. And we can also get the set antidote, which is a cure for poison. So, uh, yeah, the first thing you want to do is make this ritual knife, because this is going to allow you to harvest the human heart to make this antidote. And when you make this antidote, you will receive one of these uh manifestations of zeal and these are very important you are going to need these another way to get these manifestations of zeal is like if you kill a named priest out there he will also drop this everest of, of ymir or or whatever item it is for that particular religion priest and when you have that we're going to pop that into our item in our inventory here and as you can see all of these burnt offerings up on top you can see this one lights up because I do have that so I can craft one and that is going to give me one manifestation of zeal yeah so go if you find those out there go ahead and uh yeah kill them for that reason <laughs> sounds kind of harsh but yeah so uh yeah and the next thing about these religions and the altars is that you cannot pick them up. No. Now I put this one here for demonstration purposes. I do have some items in here and I do have a priest on here. But if I wanted to move this, I'm going to have to destroy it, unfortunately. And when you destroy this... Oh, I know. I know it can't be. <laughs> I'm still on it. That's why it's not letting me do it. Okay, there we go. We're going to get a little bag with all our goodies here and we can pick up everything that was on the altar, even our priest. 
but you are going to lose all of your manifestations of zeal. Yeah, there's no way to gain those back. So you have lost those if you destroy your altar. So when you're choosing a spot to put your altar down, make sure it's where you want it. Yeah. Okay, so now let's talk about um, the uh, different levels of this. Now at level 50, we're going to be able, I mean, I'm sorry, level 20, we're going to be able to make this altar of set. Now this is going to give me uh, the setite choker, the mask, the sandals, and the shindite. Yeah, in addition to the already items that I could make before. It's also going to allow me at level 50 to make this uh, upgrade. But again, that will not show up until I am a level 50. It functions the very same way as the other altar. But when I want to upgrade this, it will upgrade exactly in the same place that I have it. It's you don't have to. It's not going to show up in your menu and you have to replace it. It's just going to upgrade exactly where it is. So let me go ahead and craft one of these, and it does take a little bit for it to do. So remember what this altar looks like when that is made. It's going to look just like this one when the upgrade is finished. So the next upgrade that we're going to have is the last altar for the upgrade and this is the sanctum of set and in this altar we're going to be able to make at level 50 the snake idol in addition to the other items the stamped copish and the shield and again along with these other items now at level 60 these two items are going to show up this is the blessed satite ritual knife and this is the snake bite daggers yeah now the nice thing about this thrall, this is a tier, or this altar, I'm sorry, this is a tier three. If you put an arch priest in that altar, it's going to give you a nice little ability here. Now I have one in here, so let's grab him. And now I'm overcumbered. Of course I am. Let's see, what can we drop here? Let's drop these items and we should be good. So let's go ahead and put this arch priest in here. And when we do that, you can see these. there's two new items that show up here. There's the set's protection, and then there's the true name of set. Now the set's protection is that right there. That is pretty cool. And we're gonna talk about that in length in a moment. And also the avatar that you can make. Uh, that is pretty, pretty awesome. More beneficial for servers and PvP than it is for single player, but fun to do just the same. Very expensive though. So let's talk about the different priests that you can put on your altar. So if we open this up, we can see that I have just a normal set priest on here. But you can also put these kinds of priests on there. This is chosen of set. This, this is, these are all named by the way, but this little blue icon that they have on them gives them a uh, special ability. So with the little hammer, that's going to increase the durability of anything that you craft. Yeah. And then the sword is going to increase any damage of anything you craft. And then the shield is going to uh, increase any armor value of any of your armors. Yeah. And this is about ready to change. So <laughs> there it goes. See that? That's all that happens when you upgrade an altar. Does not change anything except for the look of it. Yeah. So uh, yeah, back to this. So if we put this one in here. And by the way, uh, you can only put the priest of that religion in this altar. So in other words, I can only put set priest of any kind in this altar, any set altar. It will not accept a priest from uh, Ymir, a priest from Yog, or a priest from Durketo. It will only accept a set priest. 
So again, he fits in there. And while he's in there, again, he is going to give me increased durability. He's going to give me the best chance at increased durability. They all give a perk of some sort in those three areas, whether it's armor value, damage value, or uh, durability. But this particular one will give you the best perk in durability. Yeah. So that's it with the priest. And again, you do need an arch priest to be able to make the avatar and the uh, protection of set, which is that right up there. Now, let's talk about that. It's a defensive shield, um, and it's around the altar uh, as far as 10 foundations in every direction, and it lasts for 36 hours, quite a long time. But again, it's very costly to make. This is going to set you back uh, 500 manifestations of zeal, yeah, which is quite a bit. So this will protect your uh, altar from any attacks in uh, PvP or on a server. Uh, it will take splash damage from explosive though, explosives, though, explosive arrows, and it will take damage from trebuchets. Yeah. But uh, again, it's pretty cool. I like it. And then, of course, there are the avatars. Now, the avatars are absolutely awesome. Yeah. Uh, I have one on me, so we are going to go demonstrate that over here. Now, I've done this twice over here. I hope they have already respawned. So we're going to admin over there. Okay, so here we are, and this is where I am going to use my avatar. So I'm going to open up my inventory and use the true name of Set. Now, I only need to use... I uh, use my square button to do that, but it, as you can see, it also has an um, expiration date on it. Now, this or timer on it, this expires. Uh, it's down to 4.30. Uh, it was longer than that. I'm not sure just how long you have once you make it to use it. So don't make it until you know you're going to use it. And I do need to eat something. So let's go ahead and use this by hitting our square button. And as you can see, I've got this big aura around me. Now, when you are playing on a server uh, or PvP, your enemies or whatever are going to be able to see this. So you are close to an enemy base that you are trying to use this avatar on. They are going to be able to see you summoning this and they are going to come and try to attack you. So you need to have a lot of buddies around to protect you. Because if they reach you and hit you, they can, uh, yeah, stagger you out of this spell. Yeah. And it does last quite a while <laughs> to cast, as you can see. So uh, it's kind of tricky to do. And because you've spent so much on this avatar, uh, yeah, you want to make sure you're well protected from this. Yeah. So, uh once we do get this avatar, though, these are totally, totally awesome. Yeah, they are very, very powerful. And here it comes. The set religion is the snake. Now you can see how large he is and just how much he makes everything look tiny. Yeah. So over here, we have some more locusts and as you can see I'm going to twist his body right over them and he's going to smash them all yes he is and there he goes now he doesn't last that long I think it's 54 seconds all together so let's get him down there to kill the rest of these and as he twists and turns and I can back him up I am totally totally steering this guy yeah so let's go over here onto this little island. There's quite a few enemies there, but the last one I took out most of it. So most of it has not respawned. But as you can see, he's just wiping out everything in his path. And even up here, he's going to take out the trees and everything in his way. And then we're done. Yeah. Very, very fun. Very, very awesome. Yeah. I would definitely, definitely... Uh, at least try it once. Yeah, whatever religion you happen to be. Now, each religion has something different. I think Mitra is a just a big, big, tall statue of a man, of Mitra himself. And uh, yeah, so 
you can look that up to see which one that you might get, or you might want to just use it as a surprise. Uh, yeah, which religion uh, gives you what. So, all right, guys, if you found this helpful, please give me that big old like. And if you would like to see more, just subscribe. And if you hit that little bell, you'll be notified when I post my next video. Well, all right, guys, thanks so much for watching. And until next time, GG out.